This screencast is made possible by I Show You, part of Shiny White Box. To view it, go to shinywhitebox.com. Hello, everyone. It's Tamir from Tech Stuff, and now I'm starting my series of amazingness. Now, um, this is being uploaded to YouTube right now. I'm going to make a blog for it. But I'm not going to be done with the whole project until I upload all of them and do it stuff. So you might be like, well, Tim, where's the other ones? I'm going to show you that later. Basically, in this um, series, I am going to show you every single effect there is in Final Cut Express. And there are lots of them. Now, for this, I'm going to do in folders. Like, I'll do all the 3D simulation effects. I'll do all the dissolve effects. The iris ones, I'll do all. The QuickTime ones, I'm going to break up into several movies because I can't fit all those in one movie. So, basically, I'll just do... A couple of them, but this is only one, two, three, four, five, six effects. So I'll go ahead and do all the three simulation ones right now. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. Now, down in the timeline, I have these two clips from a Super Bowl wrap I made. I couldn't think of anything else, so here they are. Oops, I have to select the timeline here. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot the. Sorry for your ears. They're probably burning. Anyway, now the first effect we're going to look at is the cross zoom. Now this basically will zoom in and out as you're doing it. Like it'll zoom in and then zoom back out. So let's go ahead and add this effect by clicking and plopping it there. Now it has to be rendered, so go ahead and hit Apple R and... Watch the little video and my heart is gonna be so full of rendering stuff on it. And this is what this one looks like. This is cross zoom. There it is, almost here. Elite on in the car. On the way to Best Buy. So that one looks pretty cool. That's, I'm gonna go on Apple Z to undo it. Now we're gonna look at one called Cube Spin. Now this is like you see in a, the keynotes where it just spins a cube. This one does not have to be rendered, so let's go to the front by pressing home. And you're all going to get tired of this song. You know what? I want to get rid of the sound until I do the sound ones. This, because y'all are going to be like, I hate this song now. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So we just looked at Cube Spin. Now let's look at Spin 3D. This is a very cool effect. Wait, no, this one isn't a cool effect. Just so um, you guys know, you know, you can always double click on your effect right here. And, you know, you can go up here and add, like, a border to it and change this stuff, like, change it so that's it. But I'm not going to do this. I'm just showing the basic idea of the effects. Next one is Spin Back 3D. It doesn't have to be rendered yet either and it looks like this that one um is used a lot on TV like if you're doing like a scene where someone's at a pool and someone's in a hotel it flips it a lot of TV shows use this this one is called swing that one really isn't used that much unless you're, like you're doing like if you had a barn door background or something and you swing it and I don't know. I'm not that creative with this. Then the last one we have today is Zoom. This one basically just it zooms. <laughs> I mean, I'll have to show you. <laughs> See, I like to show you and then tell you about it. Now that one, um, is used like in a lot of Futurama films and stuff. Like, you know, where like they're in the time machine and it comes flying forward or something. Um, but yeah. That's it for today. Thanks, and have a great day. Email me. Text at gmail.com. I have an AIM account. AIM is funny ENT. Thanks, and have a great day. Thanks. Yeah. I Show You is a product of the company Shiny White Box. For more information, go to www.shinywhitebox.com.